Good morning, YouTubers. It's uh, Sunday. Wow, I don't even know what the date is. It's Sunday. Anyway, um, the Lord has really put upon my heart, uh, if God is for me, who can be against me? Those are easy words to say. I think as uh, Christians, we minimize them. Uh, but there's a tremendous amount of power. I mean a tremendous amount of power that your mind really, honestly, can't fathom. Um, remember, like, when you were back in school, and if you've ever been, you know, bothered by a bully or somebody like that, uh, you know, sometimes people wouldn't pick upon you. You know, you could pull pull their name out like a, you know, like a gun and say, you know what, you mess with me. You're going to have to deal with, you know, Joe, and he could be like this big muscle guy. And, you know, let's say that Joe was known as, you know, uh, a, <clears throat> a bigger bully, but, you know, in the opposite, a protector of, of those who, you know. Uh, Joe was like maybe a big wrestler, you know, built to the hilt, and people just didn't mess with him. We need to put things in proper perspective. Um God is on a side. He's he's on he's on the side of righteousness. He's on the 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 side of goodness. And when we say if God is for me who can be against me? Let's think about this when it comes to your prayer life. Uh let's say that you are attacking uh a situation that's not of God. Uh, in somebody's life, um, maybe somebody's being wrongfully uh, uh, pursued, attacked. Uh, uh, maybe they're getting some character assassination, something like this. When we say, "If God is for me, who can be against me?" You have, if I mean, if you know you're right, that's going to be real important. Hello, you know, if you know that there's an injustice being done. And you have right relationship with the Father. Uh, I'm not quite sure where it says in the Bible, but, you know, uh, God is looking for people to come into agreement with him, boldly approaching the throne room of grace. That, it does say in there. It says in there, boldly approach the throne room of grace. And God is not in agreement that evil and wicked things should go on. Okay, so you got agreement right there. Let's talk about who you got agreement with. Uh, this is the master, the maker of the universe. Okay, whoa. Wow, that's that's huge. That is huge. The maker of the universe. Okay, um, get in your car and drive across the state. No, keep driving. No, keep driving. Oh, guess what? You're, you're not really going to achieve the hugeness of God by driving across all these states. God is huge. Okay, so get in a rocket ship and just keep... No, that ain't going to work either. We're talking about the master and maker of the universe being on your side in righteousness. If God is for you, if he is for you, who can be against you? And then when Jesus ascended, he said, you know what? Um, all authority has been given unto you. Hmm, interesting. All? All authority has been given unto the believer. When one sets to flight a thousand, two sets to flight ten thousand, God has some expectations that, you know, we're going to go to bat, we're going to utilize our prayer life and line it up and to do battle against the things that, you know what, he has said you had all authority against. Christians, I would really encourage you to number one, pray about this concept. You're going to need to have prayer to get a grasp on just how powerful you are as a Christian and, and the things that you actually have authority over. We've got a lot of authority to be yielding, wielding, uh, a lot of demonic activity to be smashing. And you know what? A lot of times we just, we don't use it. And Satan loves it. He likes to say, you know what? You're not powerful. He loves to... Uh, Keep us in a place where we'll keep God in a box. And Christians, we need to not do this. We, we need to be out there on the offensive using the, the, the armor of God, which is found in Ephesians chapter 6. You know, uh, 
the helmet of salvation is so important uh, regarding this because it's like, you know, if, if you're kind of hemming and hawing whether you're saved or not, you know what? You, you know what? If God shed his, uh, uh, his son's blood for your redemption of sins and you've accepted that and you're walking it out and you believe that, it's time to pick up that sword. Sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. You got an awesome arsenal, church. You've got an awesome, awesome, awesome arsenal to use against Satan. And once he gets, once he starts feeling that pain, you know what? Don't back off. Don't back off. Just keep at it. Keep at it. I hope today's message has blessed you guys today. It blesses me constantly because the more I, I, I just, you know, I just keep digesting it. The more and more and more I digest that concept, if God is for me, oh my gosh, who's in my corner? Oh my gosh, that's awesome. You know what? Grasp that concept. Pray, pray that you get that concept down in your spirit, man. And you just, you know, re, you know, reiterate it. Keep saying, if God is for me. You know, I wrote a song. Actually, I didn't write a song. I was doing some uh, uh, worship uh, during a worship. And was you know playing some chords, and it just you know uh, just started. We just started singing. If God is for me, who can be against me? I sang the song, but but people, I gotta admit, you know what? I really didn't you know grasp it. I'm saying words. They're powerful. Even that you know I didn't recognize the power of them, but I do believe with all my heart. Now that I know that I know who's behind me when I'm praying against something and I'm right and I'm in agreement with what God's got going on, holy smokes, we're talking about some power. Again, guys, thanks for watching. I hope that you were blessed by today's video and I hope that you grasp this. Share this, man. Share this with people. People are in prison. They're in prison. And I'll get, I'm going to do another video about... Uh, uh, the prison of the mind. But God bless you. Thank you for watching. And uh, you know what? Get in your authority, Christian.